Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be explaining ternary search. So there are three things that you have to remember for ternary search. First of all, the array has to be in sorted order. Okay, otherwise the ternary search will not work on the array. Secondly, the time complexity of ternary search is big O of log to the base 3 n. Since we'll be dividing it into three parts. It's similar to binary search. But instead of dividing it into two parts, we divide it into three. Okay. So now I'll explain ternary search with the help of an example. Okay. Here we have an array. Let's name it R. These are the indices of the array. And if you can see, the elements of the array are sorted in ascending order. Also, the key that we want to find is 19. I'll tell you how ternary search works overall, okay? First of all, we find two indices. Let's say those indices are mid1 and mid2. Let's say our mid1, we'll have formulas to calculate this, okay? So let's say our mid1 is somewhere here and mid2 is somewhere here. First of all, what we do is we check if these two are equal to key, okay? If they are not equal to key, we check whether the key is present in this part of the array or this part of the array or in this part of the array. In this particular example, we want to find 19. So obviously, the key is in this part of the array. So we just break the array over here and we apply ternary search on this part of the subarray again. Okay, we keep doing this till we finally find what the element that we're looking for okay so now let's do a dry run on this array so to find mid1 and mid2 we have a formula okay i'll tell you an easy way to remember the formula okay this is our left index and this is our rightmost index so how will we be able to find the length of this array it will be right minus left right so 12 minus 0 12 numbers are there so that's how you find the length so you do right minus left divided by 3 because we want to divide the array into three parts right so and we want the middle index to be somewhere after the left index so we do left plus this is the formula for mid one left plus right minus left by 3 similarly we have a formula for mid 2 in this also we do the same thing we just take the length of the entire array which is right minus left then we divide it by 3 and now we want mid 2 to be somewhere before just before right index so we do right minus all right so it will be right minus right minus left by 3 now let's calculate this left index is 0 plus right index is 12 minus 0 by 3 okay here we have 12 minus right index is again 12 minus left index is 0 divided by 3 okay now here we have 0 plus 12 minus 0 is 12 by 3 12 by 3 is 4 and here we have 12 minus again 12 by 3 which is 4 so mid 2 we get it as 8 so here we have our mid 1 which is here and we have our mid 2 which is 8 here all right now what's the first step we compare if key is equal to the element in mid 1 so key is equal to array of mid 1 now also we compare if key is equal to array of mid 2 which we have found right now so then key is 19 is it equal to array of mid 1 what's an array of mid 1 array of mid 1 which is 31 no it's not again we compare is 19 equal to array of mid 2 has 67 no 
so now what we do we have to check if if the key is present either here or here or here okay that's before mid one or after mid one or after mid two okay in between mid one or mid two or after mid two okay so for that we do is key less than array of mid one or is key greater than array of mid two mid two else if these two conditions don't get satisfied it means it's somewhere between mid one and mid two okay we'll handle that now in case our uh, key is found in this part of the subarray what we do is we want to pick just this part of the subarray to apply ternary search again right so for that we just send this right index over here okay that's nothing but we bring our right index here so it becomes right index is equal to mid 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay in case our key is somewhere in this part then what we do is we bring the left index all the way here okay that's nothing but we just bring the left index here okay now for that we have to do left is equal to mid 2 plus 1 all right and now in case a key is somewhere here then what do we do this becomes our left and this becomes our right right so because we want this part of the sub array, array. so it will be left is equal to mid 1 plus 1 and right is equal to mid 2 minus 1 because here it is okay now what we do is we compare let's start comparing now key is equal to 19 is it less than array of mid 1 which is 31 yes in this case in our example key is less than mid 1 so we just bring the right index over here so we just bring the right index over here we break the array here and we apply ternary search on this part of the array okay now i'll just show this part of the array here we are now again this is our array new array i mean sub array and we have left here and we have right here okay now again we do the same procedure that we did on the bigger array we first find mid1 and mid2 again the formula is right minus left by 3 and add that to the left also we have mid2 which is right minus left by 3 and we subtract it from the right okay so left is 0 plus right is 3 minus 0 divided by 3 and here right is 3 3 minus 0 divided by 3 so 3 by 3 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 and here it is plus 3 minus 0 is or 1 3 divided by 3 is 1 okay so now our mid 1 is 1 and mid 2 is 2 so here is our mid 1 and here is our mid 2 now what do we do we compare if key is equal to array of mid 1 or if key is equal to equal to array of mid 2 so now our key is equal to 19 we check if it is equal to what's an array of mid 1 it's 12 is it equal no it's not key is equal to equal to array of mid 2 which is 19 yes so we have 
successfully found our element using ternary search that's it for ternary search you guys i hope you learned something new today if you have some questions or you have some suggestions you can put it down in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to look at it also if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and that will make me really really happy thank you